train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about uh, squeezing the muscles and changing gyms. So recently I just changed gyms from Murph's gym to this gym called Fit for Change here in Chilliwack. So I'm still with Murph's gym. I'm still gonna keep my membership because I, that gym is superior to any gym I've ever been in. Like Murph's gym is unreal. It's still top of the list. I still love it. But because of the spacing and stuff involved in working out in that gym, there's some different COVID type rules that are going on in there right now that have nothing to do with the owner because he has no choice but to adhere to them. So basically I came to this gym because there's more space in between equipment. So there's different COVID rules in place. So that way I can work out with my camera, get some video footage and stuff like that. And funny enough, I'm actually getting some pretty good footage because the lighting in here is actually better for filming. So even though the equipment is not quite Murph's gym level, it's still really good equipment and it's still you know, it's gonna meet 99% of people's needs when it comes down to training or getting in shape, right? So uh, there's a couple of surprises though that I had since being here. One is that they have a, uh, I, don't, I think it's called a camber squat or I, I don't even know what it's called, but basically it's like a hack squat machine, but you can bend over at the same time as your back is supported. I find that really easy on my knees and I find it's actually a really neat movement. And I, and I think it is actually superior to the leg press for myself anyway. So I do enjoy coming to a different gym once in a while because you do get a chance to handle different equipment, get different angles. And sometimes you're surprised. Sometimes you've been using a piece of equipment at one gym for a long period of time. And then you discover there's a superior option at another gym. So for that reason, it's sometimes good to change up your environment, change up your gyms, not to mention just for motivation, sometimes meeting different people or being in a different environment can sometimes help uh, get you excited about training, right? Now, the other thing I've noticed about this gym is that there is a reverse fly uh, or a pec deck machine, but basically this fly machine I find is superior to the one that I was using at all the other gyms I've been to, including Murph's, because you can actually extend the arms out or bring them more towards you. And I find because of that, I'm actually getting a lot more rear delt activation from it. I like that. I like this pectic better than the one at Murphs. It's actually a lot better. This is smoother and you can uh, change how extended your arm is or not. You can actually change that. So by extending the arm a little bit, you get a better feel in the rear belt. Sometimes you just go to a different environment and maybe it's not meeting your expectations in some levels, but then on other levels, it's exceeding them. So I like coming to somewhere different where I can film and train differently and, uh, and yeah, play around with some different equipment. Now, the other thing I'm going to talk about is squeezing the muscle. Now, a lot of times I don't talk about squeezing the muscle too much because I've found constant tension under stretch is by far the superior method of growing muscle for the most part. But there are some conditions where squeezing the muscle is really important and can assist you with getting gains. So say you're a type of person that does leg extensions. Me, leg extensions kind of mess up my knees and stuff, but some people really respond well to leg extensions. So if they get on the leg extension machine and they start extending and squeezing at the top, they may activate a lot of muscle fibers, get a deeper burn and actually get more mind muscle connection from it. Now here, you can see me doing a couple clips here where I'm doing press downs and I'm using a little bit lighter weight, but I'm focusing on the squeeze, right? As far as locking those elbows out and squeezing.
Now again, I don't advocate locking out ever under compound movements and stuff, but when the resistance is opposing the lockout, such as the resistance is moving this way and my arm is straightening, there's no risk of me causing any sort of damage to my elbow when the force is opposing the lockout. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to the force just landing on the joints and then you can hyperextend your arms. So in this case, I found that squeezing the muscles is really advantageous to hitting certain areas of the tricep that you might not be getting if you're not doing the squeeze. So I say do both methods. Sometimes you want to stay in that constant tension over stretch method and then sometimes you want to get that extra squeeze method to hit different heads of the tricep. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing a little bit lighter weight and just squeezing that muscle and getting that deeper burn and mind muscle connection in and I got a pretty good pumpy and lumpy pumpitude sort of pump from it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you can notice it. It's quite obvious. It's mountainous. So anyway, yeah, that's what I did. I, I changed gyms just recently and uh, I'm going to be going back to Merce once all this COVID stuff, you know, falls away and whatever. But at the same time, yeah, it'll be a new environment for the next little while and I'll be applying different techniques and showing you new machines and stuff like that that I am working on here and let you know what I like about them and what maybe I don't like and, and that sort of thing. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get home, just go to naturalglandbodybuilding.com and thanks a lot to the patient supporters and take care for now. Mountain. Mountain. Mountain.